guys, today I'm back to film my Pan That Palette update number five. Um, I'm sorry for my kind of like obnoxiously bright hat. At least it seems really bright in the viewfinder, but um, I'm in the middle of coloring my hair and I managed to get my roots really light and then I kind of have this caramely light brown color on like the mid shaft and then the ends are um, for my ombre are pretty blonde. They're not too bad. They lightened up a little bit, but they do need to be a little bit lighter. So I'm kind of in the middle of that coloring process right now. So I'm coloring or coloring the roots and everything else later today, but I'm kind of covering it up in the meantime. So that's why I have a hat on. Um, but I'm going to do that after this video and after I pick up my son from school. So that'll be later. I might do another video on it, depending on how, what the results are. I'm not really sure. I'm thinking my hair will get pretty light because I did some test strands, but Anyways, like I said, that'll be another video if I do a video on it. Um, so on for my update. So this month I did not do as well as I usually do about picking one or two focus shadows and trying to finish it. I think I said in my last update that like Sidecar was going to be kind of my focus one. And in a way it was. Um, but I did finish Sidecar, which makes me happy. The only problem I kind of had with it was that I loved to layer it over gunmetal because one of you guys suggested that I try that and it became my favorite way to wear it, so I'm kind of sad it's gone. But that is the only shadow I like finished this month. As you can see, I have more pan showing and have hit pan on some new shadows, so we'll kind of go through them one by one. Um, Virgin was gone. Sin, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but that is a little bit thinner. Um, I'm kind of starting at the top, working down the one side, because I have some shadow along this side over here. It's very thin, but I'm going to start at the top, work my way along the side and then work my way down to the bottom. I'm thinking another month or two and that would be finished. Um, I just don't want to hurry up and finish it because I like to layer it over half-baked. So I'm not really in a huge hurry to finish it and I definitely could have finished it this month if I, you know, had focused on it. But like I said, I'm trying to kind of keep it around to finish up half-baked. So there's that. Um, Naked is finished. Sidecar is the new one that I finished. Like I said, I've been layering this over top of gunmetal. It was my favorite way to wear this the last like two weeks. And it's actually, I got my last use out of it today. So I have gunmetal on my lid with sidecar on top. Um, and then I blended a matte gray color in the crease and put creep in the outer V. So that has been my favorite look the last two weeks. Um, I kind of had like a itch to wear more cooler toned stuff. So I was kind of glad because this kind of you know, was exactly what I wanted. Um, but the other thing is that now that sidecar's gone, I kind of have to try to find something to layer over top of gunmetal. The reason I don't like gunmetal is because it's a blue-toned gray, and I think that those look okay on me, but these taupey gray colors look a lot better on me, I think. So if I can find another kind of taupey color to layer over top of gunmetal, I will hopefully keep up my progress with that one. Uh, next is Buck, and you can see I finished up the top portion of Buck. Um, it got very thin and started to crumble, and I tried to use as much of the crumbled pieces as I could, and I think I did okay. I had a couple pieces that just fell out and were broke and done for, but for the most part I used up all of that. Um, I'm trying to work on these kind of, I'm going to call them peaks on the side here, just because I feel like if I don't work on those, they're going to crumble and fall off, and I don't want that, so I'm kind of very gently working on using those, um, trying to keep them from crumbling off. But I would really like to finish Buck by my next update or at least come very, very close. Buck I am just not enjoying as much anymore. Um, I prefer Naked a lot more than Buck, kind of, and I'm kind of seeing that now. So Buck is just a little bit darker and more warm, eh, and I just kind of miss Naked. So I want to try to hurry up and finish Buck, kind of. Next is Half Baked. You can see I used up that corner. So I made some pretty good progress with this. Um, I definitely want to keep it up though and try to, I don't know, I would love to finish it next month, but I really don't know if I will. Um, I think I'll come at least very close though. So that's kind of my goal is to try to finish this one or come very close. And then because I always use Half Baked and Smog together, I want to come very close to finishing this one as well. Um, I don't have as much pan showing on smog. I have more than I did last month, but it's not as much as half-baked. So I have a feeling that smog is going to stick around a little while after half-baked, but if I could finish these two, um, 
within the next two months I'd be pretty happy with that so next is Dark Horse Dark Horse I used a lot more this month than I usually do um, I've been wearing brown eyeliner a lot so I use this to set it I've used it in the crease and outer V a lot um, but it just doesn't seem to have a lot more pan showing I'm kind of okay with that though because Dark Horse is one of my favorite shadows from this palette so I'm kind of okay with not having a lot more pan showing it'll definitely you know improve as time goes on toasted I did not use this month um, which I'm okay with again because this is another shadow I think I'm probably gonna use closer to the end of summer more in the fall time that's usually when I like to wear the more pinky um, I don't know things like my naked palette that kind of have that pinky tone to them that's usually when I like to use them is during the fall I'm not really quite sure why but that's the way it is um, and then Hustle, you can see I hit pan on. It's a pretty small amount of pan, but it is pan regardless, and I will take it. Just because these darker shades, since you are using them to set liners, you're using them in the outer V, it just seems like you're not using as much product. So the sooner you hit pan on them, kind of the better, because they seem like they take a lot longer to use up. So I'm very happy to have hit pan on Hustle. Um, I paired this one a lot with Sidecar as well, so I think that's kind of why I hit pan on it. Next is Creep. Creep probably doesn't look too different, um, but I can definitely tell it is getting a lot more use. It's being used to set liner with, um, and like I said, I've been wearing this sidecar gunmetal look a lot, so that I've been using Creep a lot in the outer V and crease kind of a little bit too, so I've been using it a lot. I can tell it's starting to go down a little bit. It's still definitely the fullest shadow in the palette though, so it you know, it's probably going to be one of the last ones I use, but. And then lastly. Lastly is kind of my pride and joy this month, the one that I'm super happy about. You can actually see I have a dip going on with Gunmetal. And I am looking at it and I can tell it's getting lower and it's, it's still very chunky and gritty, which is not, you know, not happy about that, but I'm just happy that I have that little dip going on. Um, I'm just hoping I can find another taupey shadow to layer it with and I think it'll go really fast if I can. So I am very happy to finally have a dip going on with Gunmetal to finally see, you know, some movement from it, finally see that it's starting to make some progress. So that is where this is. I'm pretty happy with my update. I'm just, I just wanted to finish another shadow and like I said, I think I could have if I would have focused on Sin maybe, but I mean, I didn't want to use it up. so. I'm hoping this next month I will finish two or three shadows. We'll just kind of see. But I think that's going to be kind of my look for this month is gunmetal, not gunmetal, um, half baked on the lid with sin on top. Use buck in the crease. Use smog kind of in the outer half of the lid and a little bit blended into the crease. And then dark horse just to darken up the outer V. So I'm thinking if I work on those five shadows, I will definitely finish at least two of them. That's really what I'm hoping. So that is that. Um, next is my MAC Fabulousness Warm Eyes. This I started out really well and was like gonna try to finish this but I just kind of quit like halfway through. I really wanted to try to finish Retrospect by the end of this month and I started to do pretty well. This down here is a lot thinner um, and the pan is starting to grow this way a little bit more but I didn't quite finish it so I don't know maybe I will use that one a little bit more this next month but my Naked palette has just really been kind of the one palette I've really really been focusing on so we'll kind of see I definitely want to have some more progress with this by next update but I don't know if I'm going to necessarily finish any shadows um honesty is a little bit thinner there's a little bit of a dip you can kind of see it right in here um so I yeah it's a little bit better than last month but not by a lot and then cognac and sketch I didn't use these two I will definitely use more towards the fall. So that is where this is at. Not a ton of progress, but some. And like I said, Naked Palette has just been my main focus. So, and then we'll talk about my Anastasia Catwalk Palette, even though this is not my pan in that palette quite yet. But this is what it looks like. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but this up here actually has a pretty good dip going on. I've slowed down on using this kind of pinky color but it does still have a pretty good dip in it. Um, it's just very, very light. And I've used this darker brown color kind of a lot this last month too. So 
that is where this is. It's nothing dramatic, but I figured I'd start including this in my Pan That Palette updates just because this I want to be my Pan That Palette for next year. So I kind of decided to include it in here just so if, you know, I hit pan or have any major progress with it, I can show you guys. But it's not a top priority for me right now just because it's my palette for next year. So I might not even show it next month if there isn't anything crazy drastic different, but I just want to talk about it a little bit. So that is where my palette is at. Um, like I said, I'm feeling pretty optimistic for next month. I'm very happy with finishing sidecar and getting a good dip going in gunmetal just because that is the one color I was really really worried about so even though I only finished one shadow and I could have finished two I'm pretty happy because that dip in gunmetal to me is just such an important thing <laughs> so I'm very happy with that um, I hope everyone else's pan that palettes are going really well I've seen a lot of people that are just really flying through theirs and that's that's great I'm kind of glad that I'm pacing myself a little bit more though because I don't want to make myself sick of the palette and hate it because I do love it so but anyways it seems like everyone is doing really well with their project pans and pan that palettes this year so that's good um, but again thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye